Hi students, uh, welcome to the Bright Aspirants Academy and myself fathers. Uh, friends, uh, we are going to launch the important series uh, related to the upcoming uh, civil engineering examinations like WRD, BBMP and many more recruitments that are ongoing in the KPSC board. So, uh, we are going to launch uh, the very important uh, subject wise series uh, which will be helpful for your upcoming examinations. So friends, uh, if you find these videos helpful, so please do watch them and also don't forget to subscribe. So in today's video, let us dis discuss one such important subject that is called as soil mechanics and foundation engineering. Uh, friends, this uh, subject also carries a huge weightage in your uh, upcoming uh, civil AE examination. So now let's begin the session. The first question that is asked here is regarding the phase diagram. As you are all aware that the phase diagram is a three phase diagram, it is given here. So they have asked that the phase diagram is also known as. So it is a very good question. See the answer for this question is a block diagram, option B that is block diagram. Uh, friends so what is phase diagram, you may ask me the question. Phase diagram is a diagram which gives the representation of all the three phases of a soil like soil, water and air. So this is the example of a three phase diagram. So if a soil is saturated, if, if you uh, saturate the soil completely like let us say then uh, there, there is no air in the soil. So for saturated soil, we call a two-phase diagram, two-phase diagram. So generally for a partially saturated soil, there is always a three-phase diagram. Okay, now let us move on to the next question. So the, here the question asked is, the weight of the total whites is equal to the weight of water. Is it true or false? Uh, friends, this is just a simple question. Uh, since, uh, see, as you can see here in the three phase diagram, there is a soil, water, and air. So, usually what we do is that the weight of air, here it is given, no? weight of air, this is negligible. So, this weight of air is having a negligible quantity. So this is equal to 0. Hence, when the weight of air is equal to 0, then the weight of water will be equal to the weight of whites. Because we know that the weight of whites is equal to the weight of water plus the weight of air. So we usually neglect the weight of air because it is not having any such mass as, as it is having. So when the weight of weight is 0, weight of whites is equal to the weight of water. So this, uh, the answer for this question is, it is true. It is true that the weight of the total whites is equal to the weight of water. Now let us move on to the next question. Uh, friends, this is a numerical based question. So the question says, in wet soil mass, air occupies one seventh of its volume and water occupies one eighth of its volume what will be the ratio of volume of whites with respect to the total volume? Uh, friends, this is just a numerical based question. Uh, if you have understood the three phase diagram correctly, then you will be able to solve this answer. See, uh, we know that the weight of whites is equal to the weight of air plus the weight of water. As you have uh, seen this in the earlier question that the weight of whites is equal to the weight of water plus the weight of air. So they have given, now let us write whatever that is given here. The air occupies, they have given that the air occupies one seventh of its volume. So weight of air is one seventh of the total weight. Or in other words, the volume of air is one seventh of the total volume. And they have also mentioned that the water occupies one eighth of its volume. 
so weight of the volume of the water is one eighth of the total volume so we know that the so from these two equations we will write volume of total voids is equal to volume of air plus volume of water so volume of air is it is one seventh of the total volume volume of water as we have known we have got it is one eighth of the total volume so uh, here we get 15 by 56 of the total volume volume of whites is equal to 15 by 56 of the total volume so when we calculate this uh, we get the answer as 0.267 which is approximately equal to 0 0.7 0 0.27 hence the correct answer is option number b that is 0 0.279 so friends in soil mechanics you must remember these important formulas which come under the phase diagrams because such questions will be asked very frequently now let's move on to the next question the question is what will be the porosity of a soil sample whose whites ratio is 0.35 uh, this is also a numerical based question uh, which in which we, we must know the formula for porosity and whites ratio the formula says porosity is equal to e upon 1 plus c that is n is equal to e upon 1 plus c here they have given whites ratio as 0.35 so substituting that we get e uh, the porosity that is 0.35 divided by 1.35 uh, in 200 because it's it's in percentage porosity is in percentage so we get n is equal to so the answer for this question would be it would be 25.9 percentage the correct answer is option number c that is 25.9 percentage uh, friends if they if they have given you the porosity and asked you to calculate the whites ratio then the formula would be e is equal to if they have given you the porosity e will be equal to n upon 1 minus n so this will be the formula to calculate the whites ratio if they have given you the porosity okay now let's move on to the next question For a soil sample, the ratio of saturated unit weight to the dry unit weight is equal to 1.2 and the specific gravity of the solids G is 2.65, then its whites ratio will be. Our oh friends, this is a very tricky question that is asked uh, previously in the gate examination and this would be asked in the upcoming examination also because uh, they have given here the ratio of saturated unit weight to the dry unit weight. Uh, we know that the saturated unit weight is given by the formula gamma saturated is equal to g plus e upon 1 plus e into gamma w and we also know that for the dry unit weight gamma d is equal to g upon 1 plus c into gamma w so they have given here the ratio of saturated unit weight to the dry unit weight so you just divide this these two equations that is gamma saturated upon gamma d will be equal to when you divide this this 1 plus c and this 1 plus v will be cancelled and gamma w gamma w will be cancelled so you will be left with g plus e upon g so this ratio is equal to 1.2 they have given it as 1.2 so now we will substitute the remaining quantities they have given here the specific gravity as 2.65 so g plus e upon e will be equal to upon g will be equal to 1.2 so g plus e is equal to 1.2 g so e is equal to 1.2 g minus g so e is equal to 0 0.2 g so white's ratio will be equal to 0 0.2 times the specific gravity which is 2.65 so it comes out to be 0 0.53 so 
so the final answer for this question is 0.53 the white's ratio will be 0.53 that is option number c okay now let's move on to the next question uh, this question is uh, just regarding the relationship between the air content and the degree of saturation if air content and degree of saturation are represented as ac and s respectively then the relationship between them is dash so we know that the air content is given by the formula that is volume of air upon volume of whites and degree of saturation is volume of water upon volume of whites we know these formulas very well so here you just add these two equations air content plus degree of saturation we get volume of air plus volume of water upon volume of whites and as we know that volume of air plus volume of whites is equal to that is volume of whites only so volume of whites upon volume of whites is, is 1 so air content plus degree of saturation is 1 so you, you search here uh, in this uh, in these options we we find that option b suits it because here air content is equal to 1 minus degree of saturation that will be the correct answer now let's move on to the next question uh, this question is also regarding the basic concepts of soil mechanics uh, it tells about the air content so this is just basically the definition of air content what is air content in the previous uh, equation in the previous question we have solved regarding the air content question so they have asked here the air content ratio is defined as the ratio of dash so it is the ratio of volume of air whites to the volume of total whites volume of air to the auto see i will write it here air content is volume of air to the volume of whites our uh, friends uh, I will also give you one more uh, formula with respect to this. There is one more term called as percentage air whites. Percentage air whites. This is denoted by Na. This is equal to volume of air only divided by volume of air divided by total volume. It is not volume of whites. So don't uh, get confused with this air content and percentage air whites these two formulas are completely different okay now let's move on to the next question the next question is the range of degree of saturation is between 0 and 0 0.25 for a humid soil sample is it true or false friends this is a true question true because uh, there is a range for the degree of saturation for the types of soil for example if the soil is humid then the range is 0 to 0 0.25 if the soil is damp then it is 0 0.25 to 0 0.5 if it is moist soil then 0.5 to 0.75 for a wet soil it is 0.75 to 1 see this degree of saturation is nothing but it is the volume of water with respect to the volume of whites so how much volume of water that specific soil occupies with respect to the volume of whites is the degree of saturation and we know that for a for your information for a saturated soil means for a fully saturated soil i am saying the degree of saturation which is denoted by s is equal to 1 so for fully saturated soil the degree of saturation is always 1 now let's move on to the next question uh, this question is also the numerical based uh, problem based question so what will be the degree of saturation of a soil sample whose specific gravity is 2.7 whites ratio is 0.66 and water content is 20 percent uh, friends uh, you make one chart of all the formulas that are there in the soil mechanics because you try to memorize them uh, as uh, you you see all those questions in the examinations 
here uh, the formula goes SR into E that is degree of saturation into white's ratio is equal to W into G. This formula is used to get the answer for this question. Uh, friends they have given here white's ratio that is 0.66 we know this quantity that is 0.66 and W is water content that is also given here. Specific gravity is 2.7 that is also given here. So they have, they have asked to find the degree of saturation. Now substituting all these quantities, the three quantities, uh, we will get the degree of saturation that is SR. SR is equal to W into G upon E. So degree of saturation is water content is 20% which is 0 0.2 into specific gravity is 2.7 uh, divided by 0 0.66. So you find the answer for this question. It comes out to be 81.81 percentage. The degree of saturation will be 81.81 that is option number C. Okay, let's move on to the next question. The relationship between porosity N and White's ratio E is given by dash. So what will be the answer for this question? This is just a simple formula based question. Uh, we know that the porosity and White's ratio is given by the formula that is N is equal to E upon 1 plus E. So in this equation option number B suits for the given formula. See they have given 1 minus N is equal to 1 upon 1 plus C. So 1 minus 1 upon 1 plus C will be equal to N. If you take this N quantity into the RHS side. So here it is 1 plus C minus 1 upon 1 plus C is equal to N. One, this plus 1 and minus 1 gets cancelled. So what we get here is N is equal to E upon 1 plus C. So option number B will be the correct answer. See in this type of question they have given the options in such a way that the students gets confused in the examination. So you must always go with a basic formula whatever you know. What, what we know is that N is equal to E upon 1 plus C. From this only you try to get the answer from the given options which will match your original formula. Then only you will get the correct answer. Okay. Now let us move on to the next question. The density index ID does not express the relative compactness of a natural cohesion less soil. So whether it is true or false they have asked. Uh, friends in order to answer this question you must know the concept behind this that is relative density or density index. Relative density or density index is represented by ID. It tells about the degree of compactness of the soil sample. And it also tells about the degree of compactness of a natural a cohesionless soil. Natural cohesionless soil means what are those cohesionless soils? Cohesionless soils are those soils which does not have any cohesion. For example, gravel, sand. Such type of soils do not have any type of cohesion. Okay, and this relative density it talks about the degree of compactness of such type of cohesionless soils only. It does not talk about the compactness or the degree of compactness of the cohesive soil like for example clay and silt, silty type of soil. So the statement given here is correct that is it is true. Okay, now let us move on to the next question. Now this question is again regarding the density index that we have discussed just now. The formula for density index ID is dash. Uh, friends various options are given here. So the formula for this uh, density index would be 
it will be e max minus c upon e max minus c minimum so option number d will be the correct answer i'll just write it here id will be e max minus e upon e max minus e minimum in 200 okay this would be the formula for density index uh, friends you may ask me like what is e max what is e see e max it tells about the white ratio of the soil sample in the loosest state see when the soil sample is in the loosest state the soil grains are far apart from each other they are away from each other so in this type of condition we get the maximum white ratio so the maximum white ratio of the soil sample in the loosest state is e max and what is e means e is a natural natural white ratio of the soil sample when the soil sample is in natural condition we get the natural white ratio and e minimum what is e minimum this white ratio minimum is obtained when the soil sample is in the densest state when the soil sample is in the densest state then the soil grains are far away they are densely packed they are not far away they are densely packed so in that condition we get the minimum white ratio that is e minimum so the formula for density index would be e max minus e minimum e upon e max minus e minimum into 100 now let's move on to the next question when the natural state of cohesionless soil is in is in its loosest form its density index id is equal to dash uh, friends this is a bit tricky question they have asked you to calculate the density index that is id when the soil is in its loosest form so what is loosest form just now i have told that loosest form means the white ratio the natural white ratio of the soil sample will be is equal to it will be equal to e max okay and we know that the density index is given by the formula it is e id is equal to e max minus e upon e max minus e minimum so when this natural white ratio that is e this e this term will be equal to e max what happens e max minus e max upon e max minus e minimum so e max minus e max is zero so the density index id for the loosest form of soil will be zero so the option number a will be the correct answer for this question now let's move on to the next question which is the last question of this series uh, the relative compaction rc is given by uh, friends uh, just now we have discussed about the relative density or the density index of the soil sample so what is this relative compaction they have asked relative compaction is used this term is used to find the degree of compactness of both cohesionless soil as well as cohesive soil for cohesionless soil only we use the term called relative density but for both cohesionless and cohesive soil we use the term called relative compaction okay and this is given by the formula that is gamma d upon gamma d max this relative compaction is given by the formula called gamma d upon gamma d max so the correct answer would be option number c that is gamma d upon gamma d max Okay friends, uh, this is all about the first part of soil mechanics and the foundation engineering. In the upcoming videos, uh, I will be discussing uh, the various other questions of soil mechanics in the part by part series. So friends, uh, if you find that this video is helpful for your upcoming examination, please do watch all the videos that I am going to upload and also uh, do subscribe our YouTube channel. Uh, okay friends, uh, till then, take care, bye bye.